vintage, uh, moody. excited about today's video. I am with my sister-in-law Darian and Jane and I have my nephew Levi and of course the girls and we are headed thrifting. This is a fun video as well because it is a collaboration with Davy Killian and her channel is just full of inspiration from homemaking, cooking in the kitchen, thrifting, decorating her beautiful home subscribe to her channel and I know you'll love her channel as much as I do. We are not looking for anything in particular, just thrifting. And if we come across some Christmas gifts, I think we'll pick those up as well. But we're just really relaxing and the kids love thrifting as much as we do. So it's a win-win situation. actually found a really beautiful tote today to put a Christmas present in and we do $10 thrifted Christmas gifts and birthday gifts so my side does that and then this year I told my sister-in-laws or asked them if that would be okay and that's what I wanted to do and they were both fine with it so and I think it takes the load off uh, for buying so many Christmas gifts um, when you have to spend at a higher price. I feel like it takes the load off and makes it more enjoyable. And then also, it's so much fun to go thrifting and see what kind of treasures you can find for like super cheap prices. I wanted to add as well that Violet and Jane just love each other and it's so funny and sweet how kids will just naturally click with each other. You know, you don't have to prompt them. They just naturally click and I feel that's how Jane and Violet are. This picture, I was just casually looking at the frame. And then my sister-in-law pointed it out that it reminded her of one of our favorite accounts to follow on Instagram. And so at her prompting, I bought it and I kept it and I absolutely love it. And I didn't show it on this haul because I forgot, but I will show it to you on the next haul and let you know the price I paid for it.
Darian found a really beautiful frame. Now the picture inside wasn't that great, but I told her that she should keep it because she could put another piece of art or a picture of her family. It's right there. And I think the shape is so pretty. And I think it was like 75 cents. So she she said even if she didn't keep it, it wasn't a lot of money lost. But um, I'll let you know if she keeps it. I'll ask her. But it's it was a really beautiful frame. I liked it a lot. And we're looking at Christmas mugs and the little snowman right there. Or the s'more coffee cup was just adorable. And you see us here just chatting and looking. And we have a Starbucks in our hand and just a fun time. Darian had seen on one of her favorite accounts, I believe on Instagram, it was a, I believe a glass jar and then they had old baseballs inside. So when I saw the baseballs, I pointed them out to her, but I don't think she got them. If I remember correctly, I think she just thought the idea was super cute, but um, I don't think it was for her at the time. Jane has found a lime green camera I am not sure if she bought it. And we are rounding to the end of the store and fixing to head out or actually check out and then head out. But we have found some really pretty finds. And Violet found this. I'm not sure what it is. I didn't really want to buy it for her just because, I don't know. But it washed up well and she actually wears it, so... I try to let my kids develop their own sense of style and dress. And if she wants it, then um, I buy it for them. Jane has found a big bag of mixed buttons and I actually have some buttons decorated in my bedroom and they're so cute. Violet found me the big tote that I told you about with leather handles and such a great price as well. I kind of wanted to keep it for myself because I don't have any totes that are like this and I really could use one when I go on picnics and things but in the end I am giving it away as a Christmas gift and I think it's absolutely beautiful. fells every time I start my camera to film my home one of my sisters calls so but that's a nice interruption I have some first of all if I seem a little stiff in my neck it's because Violet came to bed at five this morning with a bad dream so I slept like this <laughs> so I have a crank in my neck but anyways if I seem stiff that's why I have a couple items in this haul that I really, really love, and I'm super excited to show you. Um, I'm going to be putting together um, one of my Christmas presents for someone in my family. I'm not going to say who, because some of my family members watch my channel, and I don't want to give it away, but I'm going to be putting that together at the end, and then you can see Violet hanging her thrifted Christmas lights that she purchased herself and literally hung them herself and she loves Christmas. So don't forget to stay tuned to the end and you guys can watch all of that. 
All right, my first item is an item I literally love. It is Itty Bitty. It's made in Japan, so I really think that's a, this is old. See how tiny it is? It fits in the palm of my hand. And you're, it's dirty, I haven't cleaned it, but you're never gonna know how much I paid for this little guy. I had tons of coffee this morning. Hands are shaky, 25 cents. And I went to an estate sale, and this is a collection of items I've thrifted over this last couple weeks. So I went estate selling and did not film because we were literally running in. And I don't know if you can see the made in Japan, but it says made in Japan right there. And I got a couple items. I actually found a clock that was beautiful from Germany. And I didn't, and I got it for 25 cents as well or 50 cents, I can't remember the price on that one, but um, its little leg was broke. So I just, I felt bad throwing it away, but I don't want to keep anything broken. But anyways, isn't he adorable? He's heavy too. He looks like he'd be like kind of thin filling, but he's not, he looks, he's really, he's got some weight to him. So I love this. I thought about giving this as a Christmas gift away to one of my sister-in-laws, but I don't know. I feel like this is hard to find. Maybe not. And especially for the price. Maybe not. I get so sidetracked by my items. Sometimes I forget I'm filming. All right. I'm in the middle of my bathroom, you guys, and it's almost finished. And I'm so excited to show you. I purchased this brass planter. I think it's a planter for $2.99, 50% off. It's pretty big. This is my hand. So you can kind of see the size of it. I would like to put a plant for in my new freshly remodeled bathroom, like a creeping Charlie coming out. It'd be so pretty. All right. I told you guys the price on this item, right? I, I forget sometimes I get scatterbrained and homeschooling mom. So the girls are actually doing work that they can do on their own. And I snuck in here and tried to film when I have some really nice sunshine coming into my bedroom. All right, I found this. He is so heavy. I can't even see, can't even hold him like that. So got to get my fingers through. Ouch. He's so shiny and gold. I paid $2 for him. He's so pretty. These are my favorite kind of candles, you guys. I love the ones that you hold and like walk through the house. Love him. Uh, this, my sister-in-law would love this for Christmas. I just, oh my word. I go thrifting for Christmas items and then I get items and I'm like, oh, I don't want to give it up. Isn't that terrible? It's actually quite selfish and I need to work on that area in my life. <laughs> but I, I need, I've, I'm still putting, I'm going to put together a Christmas little gift for one of my family members and I'm still contemplating on what to put in there because I just want to keep it all. We're doing $10 thrifted. So keep that in mind. Anyways, $2. Super heavy, super cute. As you all know, I love French horns. He was 25 cents and I'm just gonna take this off and take this little red string off. And I have another little French horn to add to my Christmas collection for next year. So as you know, Christmas is almost over and I'm gonna be taking everything down, but I'm still going to be thrifting Christmas items all year long because you can get them so cheap. These look so pretty with little notebook pages behind it. I thrifted this little guy. He was $1. Take the little tag off without ruining him. It's kind of sticky. Okay. Isn't he cute? So he's super red. I thought this would be so cute. You know, String it up on a window uh, in the window and put like the French horns and old book pages. Really, the possibilities are endless. One dollar. I thrifted this dress for Violet. It was three ninety nine and fifty percent off. There's the price tag. It's for Christmas. It's for the Sunday before Christmas, and it's pretty long. So I'm gonna have to show you in stages here. That's the bottom. Then it goes up, it ties around in the back, because that, isn't it pretty? 
So it's a green velvet dress for basically $1.50. And she's gonna wear this on the Sunday before Christmas. Beautiful, perfect condition. I just need to wash it. it. Has like a food or something right there, but it'll come out. Super excited about that. And it looks long enough that I think she could maybe wear it next year, I don't know. She's my one that grows super quickly, super fast. Vivian, however, is just petite and tiny and just is slow growing, as I like to put it. All right, I thrifted these probably last year and my sister Carrie seen them and was like, you can have them. And I got them and she's like, I can't believe I let you have this, but she did, so. And I'm only showing you one bracket. This is the bracket and it's a gold hammered bracket. Sorry, I go too fast sometimes, huh? And these are vintage and I paid, like I said, $8 for the pair. Let me show you the glass. It's super, I wanted to use these in my bedroom, but I didn't have any space for these. When I thrifted these, this was for my bedroom. They're dirty. You can see the price. Hold on. Oh, wrong way. That scripture verse, now we see through a glass darkly, comes to mind, huh? So I have $8 for the pair. You can kind of see, this is my hand. So it's pretty, um, they're big. And the look I'm going for in my bedroom I'll turn this sideways so you can kind of get a gist of it. See? So I'll have two to go on either side and I have two shelves. I'm actually going to set it down because it's kind of heavy, but I'm really hoping I can incorporate these into my bathroom with my Creeping Charlie that I'm going to transplant. Have some really good ideas for my bathroom and I'm super excited. Okay, that hurt my neck. My neck is so tight, you guys. Let's put this glass shelf. I have managed not to break these shelves. I have them stuffed in behind my shoes in my closet. I don't want to break them. All right. I thrifted this. Violet actually found this bag for me, and I was like, it's so cheap. I might as well buy it. It was $4.99 and 50% off, I believe. This is real leather handles, you guys. These are real leather. So cute. So you have the two shorter handles right here. Then if you want to have a little bit more relaxed and carrying it, like maybe over your shoulder, you have the two long ones. It's a beautiful basket uh, per seagrass. Is it seagrass? And I thrifted this in mind with putting a Christmas present inside. Okay. So that is my haul. Oh no, I forgot. Oh my goodness. I forgot my most favorite item. All right. I showed you guys a couple hauls ago how I take rub and buff and change the look of a frame. And I showed you guys last time on the haul, this frame, and I believe it was 75 cents or 50 cents. It was super cheap. And it goes in like right, hold on, you know, it goes in right here. And this is the picture. Now I bought this from Museum Quality Art. And I love this look. This is like, I love it. This is, I'm, I would love to try to put this in my bathroom. I think she's very vintage, uh, moody, kind of makes you feel melancholy. I don't know. I, I, I'm having a hard time describing her, but I think she's just beautiful. And the frame, I just, you know, added rub and buff and made it super pretty, super plain, and it's going to go well with the other frame I did and it has like the cottagey scene. I want to layer this. Anyways, she's beautiful. This is the look I'm going for in my house as well. And the picture was like, I ordered this one and another one on Black Friday. And I got 
if you hear whistling, it's Vivian. She's in a whistling stage and she whistles nonstop. Um, I got both frames for like 45 or both pictures for like $45. So super good deal. Love her, um, shop. Her pictures are great quality and they're just beautiful. So this is my favorite item in this haul. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, um, like I said, Violet thrifted Christmas lights and she paid $3 for the whole lot and she used her own money and dragged the ladder out by herself and hung the Christmas lights. And I caught her looking out of the window at nighttime at her Christmas lights. She loves Christmas lights. And so a super cute moment. And um, so let's get this Christmas present put together. Now I'm gonna remind you, we are. I am only doing $10 thrifted for my sisters and my sister-in-law. And it's amazing what you can find for $10. So let's get going. I'm gonna put this little gift together and you guys can see what um, I put together. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. I tried to put together a Christmas present basket that I would love to receive and this was right at a $10 um, thrifted finds and I think it's a really beautiful gift. Um, I know for a fact that the family member has been looking for a candle holder like I'm giving away. So I am just so happy that I have most of my Christmas presents bought and I just need to put them together. And I want to remind you guys to go into my description and subscribe to Davy's channel and tell her I sent you her way. And I know you're going to love her channel as much as I do. And I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you on the next video.